Hallo. Gunther? Does some mincing. Madame Pezzetti is in the family way. She is pleased. Husband is not. He is not. He has been in Nick for two years. Wilma has it in her father. He was his Maurice Gritter, whose mistress is Madame Cosette. The miller, whose brother was a DC, to General Claude Van Kuderman, the hero Yeeps. And there is he attained his wooden leg, which he keeps on the mantelpiece. You have not yet met any of these people, or nor are you likely to. But I thought you were feeling you were a little local gossip, because my affairs are so complicated. I don't know where to begin. Rennie, I have a message from the resistance. Come in this art, your resistance. A decision of his turn to go to Coba. The sausage which he retrieved. Think of me, we. Thank God he was not a rockweiler. The sausage is the one containing the full painting of the full of burner. The big, um, which the communists. Stole from the kitchen and demanded a ransom of eight thousand francs. Renny, I had just met Alan Fancy, the undertaker in the square. He's wanting the return of his money. I told you you were dealing with it. So, it has come, gone home, quite happy. Thank you, Edith. This is the money that he lent us to pay the ransom for understanding the German colonel. We organized an ambush to snatch it back. This he failed to do. The communists still have the money. Now, how do you tell an aging undertaker? We can't. His tired life savings are gone. Hmm? By telephone. Yvonne, 302, please. Ah, you're on duty again, Antoinette? You're not still listening to under everyone's phone calls? Madam, who? Was the, min- was the miller? Another one? Well, how does she find time to f- make the hat? This is where I get it all from. Hello, MF, MF, MZO. How are you? Is your knee for the... No, no, you are not. No, are you sitting down? Or you're laying out and bombing? Oh, can you not do that with one hand? Ah, everyone. Is it anyone we know? Oh, yes. Well, he was not looking well. I have some news for you. The sausage have been returned. It went like clockwork. The money, well, it would be safe. Well, it's no, not exactly there, here, no. You'll have to wait a few days before I have it back. No infant from the resistance do not pay interest. A flick has something to report. Huga, how did you get in here? I used the key. You were personally gave to me. You will not use the key during working hours. This is only for emergencies and for secret assignments, preferably... Made and approved for private canoodles. Sorry, Herflick. To seal it upon your person. It is not easy, Herflick. You will think of something. What is your report? I have to report that Lieutenant Gooper have returned and have been apprehended by your agent, Von Smuzenvan. Where is he now? Call. Tell him to come in here. Come in here. Report. Following your instructions, I have apprehended Lieutenant Gooper. He was an act of doing his exercises by performing press-ups on the carpet. Did he not? Did he put up a struggle? No, he took I, No, he took it by surprise. He is outside. Bring him in here. Bring him in here? You sent for me? You stog stole a very important Gestapo sausage. Where is it? Well, I'm thinking the doggy might fancy a sausage a bit later for his dinner. I put it in my refrigerator, and that is where we found it. You have it? Yes, it is outside. Now bring it here. Bring it here. Open it. There's nothing here but a plate of minced meat. Gooba, have you been mincing? Your little doggy is very peculiar. You will not touch chunky food. There was that, but there was a value painting in the sausage. I know. I removed it. It is in the ice compartment. You have ruined one of the world's greatest masterpieces. This is, if you say so. But this is not a masterpiece. That was the forgery. The forgery? The forgery? The forgery. So somebody shooted it. it, it. The forward painting of the Gestapo sausage? The real painting of the Gestapo sausage. When the sausage was in the cafe. Or the resistance substituted the forward painting of the real painting, Gestapo sausage, when they stole the sausage. Ah, oh, you, Mr. Moore, Moore, Cooper, 
with your well-known leaning towards art. A subject in the painting, painting, a real painting, and you don't return the subject to your quarters, cleverly menacing the subject to remove old traces, my little swastika, which I have placed on the side of it. So now I never know whether I, it was the original sausage or just any old sausage. I absolutely quit, I think. So, Gubba, the finger points to you. But why would I tell you that this was a forgery? Knowing full well to make you cross. I could have told you my doggy had, had eaten it. I mean, this man is innocent. This man is innocent. What sort of good type of officer are you? Saying a man is innocent? But he won't. We have pay, he said it's true. This is a vile, frozen fair A fatal painting must still exist. It means it can be found in skillful Gestapo investigations. Hmm, that sounds more like Gestapo. And so the last page we know, with which we know for certain painting, extended was in, existed was Venice Cafe. You remember our friendly this man. Well, we got on quite a bit. Well, see that you will really go out of him. You can be without him. He will not squeal. Not offer to run a track. Tank. If he not squeal, offer to run a tank for his calf. Oh, Zeb's flashy knobs. Roger. Roger, I think we got the message. Oh, what do we do now? It's long ago. You were taken by surprise. Oh, I didn't say something. Can you answer that damn thing? Oh, I fell asleep. It could be London. It may be one of, maybe for us. Come on, take the other end. Oh, oh, and leave it alone. Leave it alone. I have not touched anything. What does this damn, how does this damn thing work? The speaker is in the jerry. Hello, and I talk. Hello, and I talk. Are you receiving me? Are you receiving me? Over. What is he saying? I have no idea. It is all French. Let me ho- get hold of it. I know, I know how to make it work. I'm glad one of us does. Hello? Hello, this is no cook. Mother-in-law, pass your message over. Hello, hello. Kitty Hook is waiting for Peter Pan. It never left land. Over. I think we all have the children's program. Oh, no, funny. It is the code. Code? I called the cipher. Ah, the pretty so small. I cannot read. Hello, Nightwalk Hook. Mother-in-law. Hello. Hello, no, hello, hello, first mother-in-law. Are you reading me? Over. No, no, the print is too small. Please, send me a bigger book. Oh, run out, Renny. Huh? His muscles, they are not good. Is your wife using a new spice, such as her hair tonic? They come from the usual harbour, dear Colonel. I think one of them is submarines. is digging a little diesel oil. Due to the fact the RF blew it up, all the RF has been shut down. Global said so in the wireless. So it must be true. Mind you, he said, El Bavin was 29. I, if you believe that, you believe anything. Someday, but he may be listening. Oh, I'm so sorry. Captain Colonel, I have a slight problem. The money you promised to ambush, the owner wants it back. Well, how chicken? That was the bargain. I was to get the money for the painting, get the money to you, and you to ambush the communists and get the money. We got, did, we did not get the painting. Gover's dog got the painting. It won't be in any number of places, especially if the doggy ate it. Well, anyway, the matter is closed, so far as we are concerned. Which brings us an main reason for our visit. Girls? Ah, yes, the girls. We have for you, Renny, twelve litres of paraffin, four kilos of sugar, and one kilo of butter. Oh, thank you, Colonel. You should cover the flying helmet and the wet celery. Oh, who? What if you chuck in 500 cigarettes for, say, 56? I was throwing a whole fully wound cuckoo clock. It does not sound much fun. You'll wait until it takes 12. Done. I arrange it. Renny, what are you going to give us the money for Alfonso? Do not, you're not uh, up in. The vet has a plan. Good. In the back room, your vet, in the back room. Maria, tell little click. The join us in the back room. As soon as you finish his solo, right, you vet, sit down. Now tell him, Vinny, of your plan. Melarek, the Vaudre had been secretly slipping away to the cellar. I have spied on them. He's forging money. We could give it to Alfonso for his money. 
Even if a wreck is not a good fortune, I know me, Alfonso. You don't even look at the money. You put it straight into his ma- back in his mattress. He's dead singy. You see, so on the hand. It's a good plan. How do we persuade McClick to reveal to us where it's hidden? Your secret hold. McClick's here. Listen, leave this to me. Oh, you wish to see me? Look, McClick. I do not wish to spare in panic, but the cafe's on fire. Oh, well, I shall go in fire. Oh, my God, my savings. My life savings. Aha, my money. Ah, my money. My money. Ah, of the crap tree. Can I get you a cutlet? I am not allowed to, to drink when I am a dirty. Amazed that the one who's penetrated your disguise. I come in lucky, but I have some never squeak squeaks. I wish to spook with a knee. Can you get me a cigarette of tea? Ready? Good evening. Oh, officer, what can you, how can you patronize my humble calf? What are you doing here, you nit? You got this all nit. Michelle has a message for you. Sit here, she was Jean. You had the tipple. Uh, I must be about my business. A policeman's lunch is not a hippie one. He's supposed to be on our side. Listen very carefully. I shall say this only once. Cutting Hook is waiting for Peter Pan in Upper Leverland. There will be a very little point in you saying that twice. Oh dear, what it means. How will you ever help us? You do not learn the McCoke book. It means a plan to escape the British Airmen had been proved by London. Good, what plan? To escape from the airplane from the museum. Surely you're not going to the head, the hairbrain screen? It wasn't, it didn't even got an engine. We are stolen in for General von Kuchenhoff. The engine? Of his motor, 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 Michelle, you will not do it, he's not. You're going to hide it for us. Where is it? Switch it off. We'll leave it here. No one will suspect. Is your mother law chair? It is in your mother's Lord bath chair. More as he cursed enemy approach. Come, little set. We'll melt away. Good morning, Renee. I am. Just about go up for a little spin. I thought you'd drop by. Oh, good. How pretty your tank is looking today. I gave it a polish. I wonder, you have a little fancy something from the bar? Ah, oh, Maria, you vet a cognac. Of oh, course. Will you come this way, Maria? A cognac? From Lieutenant Cooper. Of oh, course. Good morning, Lieutenant Cooper. Good morning. Shoo, now, Winnie, I wish to speak to you. I wish to speak to you. From man to man. Is it good news or bad news? I have a problem. I can imagine. I am not in... I am hopeful to the Gestapo. They be... They, what can be very uncomfortable. If I believe you know what the whereabouts of sausage, real painting a full of Madonna. The big correct. He has given me the task of trying to work around this information under you. You do not look right. I have been ordered. I have been ordered to... to, to I cannot say it. Go on, Lieutenant, say it. What have you been ordered to do? Drive my little tank from where it is parked into your, into your garden at the back. Well, it's, it's a terrible, what about that? In a straight line, through your calf, I see. Lieutenant, what I am meant to say to you is the strictest confidence. Just between you and me, Bunny, I am your friend. Yes, um, there's another sausage containing the original painting, the real one. You picked up in my cellar. Belongs to the colonel and the captain. Edward, then all you have to do is unbreak it and give it to me. I would, I would drop me right in it. The colonel must have, would have me shot. I will take you to my quarters and hide you. And see if that is a good plan for starters. Let's see if we think of another one. I have it. I thought you might. How about substituting another food tree for another sausage? You might have not have another food tree. These days, it's hard enough to get the sausage. I could, I think I could provide a copy. It would, it could say, if, if I could see the original. Are you an artist? Well, I have leanings, you know. And I was a little talent. Maybe I was a window dresser. But as a window dresser, I was played in art gallery. Occasionally, I felt allowed to touch up my masters. Well, one has to start somewhere. Let's go down in the cellar, your cellar, and examine it. Oh, no, I believe the paint, retrieved the painting. Have it delivered. Be it yourself. 
Come on, I'm in the dead of night to the side door. Not four times. A little trap will open the door. Ask for Monique. This is your cobwood? No, it's a maid who works in the chateau. She will show you my quarters. Sorry. Why do you sigh, Maria? Is it the life we lead, your vet? Is it terrible? Climbing these stairs, time after time to entertain men. It is not right. Oh, I agree with you. We should have a room on the ground floor. Hello? Oh, Captain. I have hear me read the goodies. Perhaps in the outside. Oh, that's the Colonel. He's in a bad mood. We trust to see who would bring these to you, and I won. And now, who is to get this little bottle of perfume? Oh, me and me, a tut a toot. Everybody, me, him and me, oh no. Catch a French girl by the door. Is she hollers? Who wants to know? Out goes you. It is yours. Thank you, oh Marie. We will share. We will both worry tonight. Come in, Colonel. Now, how about a little cuddle on an account, huh? Um, in here, oh, I hope not being nice to me just because I'm conquering her own. Oh, what are you making? Especially the other day, frogs like soup. Ah, it looks delicious. Save a portion for me tonight. All those legs, they remind me of the foliage barouge. Tonight, you remind her you were the body barouge. Whoa, come in, Colonel. Come in, going. Captain going. Do you remember the battery of my sickle lamp? Oh, yes, I have it here. Oh, there you are, you beautiful man. You don't tickle? No, no, you must tickle. You said to you for me, Heavily Kalisalga. You are three minutes late. My duties are with the Colonel in a five thirty. I have to tidy the office and have the show the naps for me. I hope you did not enjoy it. Not at all. Good. You may kiss me. Stop. I also have a had a, a cheese biscuit. The Colonel always assists that, uh, that with my drink. I am also a little nibble. Have a little nibble. Now pay attention. I will shortly be invited you to the supper club. You are pleased, of course. To be in the club with the supper would be a great honour. I know. You will be my partner at the annual Gustavo Dance at Berlin. Paris is a banquet on Tischel Ball's head. Baron of Beer. Frankfurters. Strudel. Sauerkraut. Noodles and beer. And place will be full of rag noises, including Goring and Himmler. I can't wait. At midnight, you'll be expected to dance, additional Gestapo dance. How does it go, Heflick? I will demonstrate. You put your left boot in, your left boot out. You do a lot of shouting, and you shake your fists about. You light a little smoky, you buy a down the town. That is what it's all about. Hell, Himmler. Himmler, Himmler, switch that off. Yes, Gubba? Gubba, yes. Carry on, Gubba. Gubba has a great lead and hopes to track down the painting. It's good news. What do you, what do you want, Von Herzmolhausen? I have to report a serious case of sabotage on the lawnmower so of Colonel von Kessenberg off. The engine has disappeared. It is very mysterious. Who would acquire an engine of a lawnmower? Perhaps a hair flick. Someone who possesses a lawnmower without an engine. You are not. You will not be a smart ass for me, von Herzmolhausen. You should be too. What should we do about General von Kricklow's lawn? It will be untidy. Get some peasants to eat the grass. Of course, Herr Flick, at once. Now are you quite clear what we must do? Yes, Renny. I am to go to the side door of the chateau. I rap you four times on the door. I travel open. I will request you take in the presence of a Vonnegeek. Now Vonnegeek will take you to the front of the tenor group bar. Then what do you do? You give him a sausage. Well, good. Where is it? Here. Good nobody would suspect. No, go now, Winnie. What? You embarrass me. Of course. Yum, hold me tighter. No, we wouldn't must not. I might crush your crook, not cross. Off you go, Winnie. Off you, Mary. We will take, go back to this and laugh, will we not? Oh, we will have all, have hysterics. Now, be off of you, Winnie. Mm, your wife wishes to see you in the back room. Do you know, Winnie? You're going to tell? How is that you're coming to marry me, Zerivet? Another time like this. But we are about to open. But really, she keeps giving at me funny looks. Perhaps she suspects there's something up between us. Yvette, where is, what are you, what are you doing with poor child? Have you not heard? Her grandmother died. She died three years ago. Shock had just hit her. Take ten minutes off, dear girl. Compose yourself. Light a candle. Thank you, Renny. Yes, oh, Renny. 
Oh, you so compassionate. I thought you were waiting for me. I was, was looking for the photograph of our wedding. It brought me it all back to me. You were tall and handsome. I was young and beautiful. Yes, it's amazing what those photographs can do. Really, we should have a wedding without delay. The village should expect one. The Germans expect one. You're not expecting one, are you, Madame Alfonso, the undertaker? He's coming down the road in his horse-drawn cars. He's having trouble with his brakes again. You're having, he's coming for his money. Attend to him at once, when he, you'll get my money back from him and give it to me. Like you promised, of course. I wait for going to his rooms. I want an estuary with, I do want an with an actress. Lonely France, indeed. See, you say the clerk. Long live France. Oh, what a tale you should tell to our children. Children? Oh, Madame Edith, you got one in these. In there, has he? She? Shut up. You're combing your hair very nicely, Hans. Thank you, Colonel. I see you polish your head. We have to look our best for the girls. Oh, Colonel, I know what you're doing to do the cuckoo clock. What's charge an extra bird? Oh, uh, good evening, Colonel. Good evening, Captain. Hello. How handsome you both look. I must welcome Miss M- 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 F- M- Fenzo. Maybe next time around the houses, horses will grow tired. Maybe I'll take this opportunity to sing the little song. In turn, I look everywhere for love and found it under the table. In my table, I'll crack. I'll introduce you, if you please. Cheese hands, piss, Alfonso. I hope you'll excuse the delay, madame. In my new house, you got used to the hearse. About to sing a song. Oh well, just in time. Sit down, please. We look very you look enchanting, madam. A glint in your hand and dancing lights in your eyes, living, writing gloss in your sensuous lips, your heady perfume. What is the where is the money, when he? The parcel for the men runs oh. Oh yes, yes, here it is. Here we are, monsieur, the small amount of money left for me for safekeeping. Merci, monsieur. Thank you. You want to take it home straight away and put it in a secret hiding place? Well, you and me, of course. But first, I wish to save. I am relieved at having recovered my nest egg. Puts me in a very generous, suspensive mood. I'd like to invite you to each one of you to take wine, champagne, cognac, every design, Mr. Ramzamabo. I'm taking swiftly with your style. You pay easy bill? With the money? Of course, monsieur. You're far too generous. You must not spend all this money. Not in here, anyway. Come along, Renny. Don't be a wet blanket. Wants to buy us a few free drinks? Let's have a party. Free drinks? You don't us? No. Please, please, do not go mad. Small bedges, small bedges. For Madame Fanny, the widow mother, Madame Edith, five hundred francs. I'll buy a new bonnet. Oh, a new bonnet for Madame? Ma'am? Madame. No, monsieur, is too generous. No, no, Roger. Quickly. For the miners, before they close. Monsieur? Renny? What? Is it that your front door, which I secretly damaged, being thrown through it on my horse? And this is your chickens that have run over on my horse. Thank you, Mister. Ringing you too must be music for your ears. Music, yes. I could strangle the composer, Renny. What? If your mother spends her forged notes in that fat shop, and I'll cover with her own. Will you then stop her? Where is she? McClex. Taking her name but in the wheelchair. Wheelchair or not the wheelchair? Uh, what is it? Have you not f- got the brakes on? No, Fanny. We have pushed harder. The, the shop will close soon. The little clack. Come back here. My uh, uh, Fanny. I love. What shall I do? What shall I do? Turn right to the traffic lights. Take the second and left. Oh, hold on. Ooh.